everyone welcome to wondershare filmora tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can we manipulate the mosaic blur in wondershare filmora just to hide the information control how much information is hidden and um, everything that maybe we can um, control so as to leak the least amount of the private information to the end user okay so we already know how do we add a blur effect uh, using the mosaic in our videos so first of all let's just quickly add that particular effect then we will see that what all things we can control okay so we go to the effects tab and just search for mosaic effect that's the mosaic normal mosaic effect that we want to add just add it over here the duration also you can just change so maybe we want to apply it for the whole duration of the project so let us just zoom out a bit using control minus so that it's easier for us to uh, drag it to the entire duration okay then to customize it just click on double uh, just double click on it here you can just change its position its rotation and its dimensions like this so maybe this much amount is okay for us yeah here uh, again just double click we can just change the blur amount that how much amount you want to blur okay so here if you just decrease the blur amount to zero then you can see it's visible you want to make it partially visible or what so here what happens is it's not exactly visible but it is also not exactly invisible okay uh, so we have reduced the blur amount to around 27 okay mm, maybe just hide this okay hmm. uh, then uh, there are two types of blur like right now it's a horizontal blur that's selected you can just choose a vertical blur as well you can choose this kind of a pixelated blur or this kind of a bubbly blur or something like this so these are the different kind of blurs that you can just choose to make sure that uh, the user is not able to make out of the information that what it is written you can just use the blur amount as well like this pixelated blur and you can just choose the opacity of the blur as well so if you decrease the opacity then you see the things would be visible if you increase the opacity then the uh, things won't be visible anymore these are the custom settings you can set according to you if you want you can just reset it to the default values as well uh, like whichever works fine for you that you can go for once you are happy with it just click on ok and the blur would be applied for the whole duration of the video and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.